In today's Monday Makeup Lesson, I want to show you how you can layer your eyeshadows. In our previous video, I talked about how you can get the most out of some of your older eyeshadows with lots of tips and tricks to get them to really shine. And in today's video, I'm still going to be using some older shadows, but this time we are going to be layering them. So just like in our previous video, I'm going to be bringing back the old Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I absolutely love. And I'm going to use the green shade Envy, which is a very deep green. And I want to layer this to find out how I can make the best out of it. So if that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching. And if you're new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. So I'm going to start off with this bronzy shade. This is almost like a cream to powder eyeshadow. I'm also going to go in with this red because sometimes you have a shadow that you don't use very often, but layering it with something else can make it more wearable. And I absolutely love this blue shade. It's called Pool and you actually really want to dive in. So once I swatch these on my hand, I'm going to press a little bit of Envy over the top. I'm not being too careful with these swatches. I actually want to see how this shadow texture is going to work. This is a great technique for some of the older shadows or maybe some new shadows that you haven't used before. For instance, I now know that there's a lot of fallout with these and that's just something to bear in mind. So once I've mixed them up, I just cleaned around the edges. The first swatch is the shadow by itself and I can see here it's quite sheer. So I have to make sure I use a good primer underneath. The second swatch has more of that greeny tone that I really like using that bright blue underneath. It also has a lot more shine and the pigment is a little bit stronger. The second one I really like because I can layer with that red and we're getting more of a plummy tone. And then the last one is probably my favorite. It's really bringing out the shimmer. It's giving us a lot more pigmentation. I think this is the one that we're going to use. Now to go with those two eyeshadows, I'm also going to apply my face contour. This is going to be used as a transition shade or a mid-tone right in the crease. And for fun, I added in a fade shade. I know this looks a little scary, but trust me, I'll show you how to use it. It's very easy, but it is optional. And then to go a little old school, but also because I love combining Shimmer Mint and Envy together, I'm going to be taking this light golden green shade. So those are the shadows that we're going to be using, and this is how it's going to look. Now you can go ahead and pick out your favorite combo, and let's get started creating this look. Now I don't like my smoky eyes to be too smoky, so instead of covering the lid in dark shadow, I actually cut the lid into two parts. I focus most of the dark shadow on the lower half of the lid right by the lash line. As you can see here, we have that bronzy green tone just on the lower part, and then it blends upwards. And then I like to blend everything in the crease. So we're bringing on the upper part of the lid where it creases into the eye shape, and then it's kind of dispersing and blending upwards towards the brows. It should basically fade out from the crease line and then disappear as it reaches the brows. It's kind of like contouring your eye shape. And I had to show you this candle. I think it was $4.99 and it's huge and it smells like a pina colada and it just makes me so happy. So I have that in the background and I just had to tell you. So I've already applied my eyeshadow primer. This is very important for a smoky eye because we need that grip. However, as much as we want grip, we don't need grip above the lid. So what I want you to do is to set the crease and all the way up to the brow with just a translucent powder. This is just going to make sure we're not going to get any transfer as we go along. There is nothing worse than applying a dark shadow right at the lash line, looking upwards and it transferring into the crease. This can create that really muddy finish that we don't want from our smoky eye. And as you can see, the brush is able to glide a little bit more without too much pull and that's all we really want to do. A sheer amount of powder will just add a silky finish so that we don't have too much grip. So I'm going to grab a pencil brush or you can use a flat brush or even your fingertips and I'm just going to apply that bronzy tone right at the lash line. We're making sure we're not blending up too high, do not cover the lid, keep it really low right at the lash line. And I'm bringing my hand to about eye level. This is just going to make sure that we're only covering the lower part of the lid. And I would also recommend not using the brush straight on at our faces because it can kind of crowd this area and affect how you can actually look at yourself in the mirror. Instead, bring your hand up and to the side. This way you can go across the lash line horizontally while looking down in a mirror. And I'm just stamping this on. I want a little bit of that texture so I'm not blending it out too much because this will add a little bit more grip for our next shadow. Moving on, I'm going to take that Envy shade and I'm going to tap this over everything that we've already applied. 
I'm going to slowly layer this up, but between each layer, I'm just going to press my fingertips over the top of it. This is basically going to lift off any fallout that we might have and make sure it's really adhering to the lid. Now I'm creating more of a round smoky eye. This means that I'm going to have a little bit of height right in the center and then it tapers down on either side. This basically creates more of a vertical line going upwards, creating more of a rounder appearance on the eyes. This does mean that we have a little empty space on that outer edge. Typically for like a siren eye, you might fill this area, but for more of a rounder appearance, we're actually gonna have it higher just ever so slightly in the center. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Once we have our smoky look on there, we now need to start to blend out the edges. Now, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to blend this upwards. Instead, I actually want to blend your contour shade, your crease, or your mid-tone shade downwards to meet the smokiness right at the lash line. This is just to make sure it's not going to be too smoky and also kind of complement your eye shade just that little bit more. What I'm using to create this blend is I'm actually going to be using my face bronzer slash contour and I'm going to apply this right above the lid, so above that smokiness, into the crease, and then blending it slightly upwards. Every time I pick up a little bit, I'm actually gonna start on the outer edge of the eye because we have that extra space there. So when we were doing the smokiness, we actually started in the middle and blended out and in. However, with our contour shade, we're gonna start in the outer edge and blend inwards. And I'm keeping my hand a little bit lower. The lower your hand, the higher the blend is gonna be. So I want to get right in that crease line and then ever so slightly blend it up. Now at this point, my blood pressure went a little bit haywire. So I thought that this would be a great time to take a ad break. How are you? I'm good. Blood pressure is a bit funny though. Just trying to control it so I can finish the video. Oh, sorry. Can I help you with anything? Hey, could you just give me a small glass of lemonade, please? Yes, I will. Thank you. And we are back. I'm going to now use a slightly larger blending brush and just blend everything that we already have on the lid. I'm keeping my hand a little bit lower. This will make sure that we get a higher blend. And then I'm going to bring my hand up a little bit as I've finished off blending above and just blend a cross. This is just going to make sure we have no harsh lines and we're going to have a soft blend from that deep dark shadow right at the lash line. And then it's going to fade upwards towards the brows. Now this look can actually be created just using two shadows, using a little bit of that green and then the bronzer, and then you're good to go. However, I wanna help you guys go to the next level. So that's why we're gonna be adding in a fade shade. And this is the shade that we're gonna be using. It's a mustard matte shade. Fade shade should always be matte. Now this looks a little bit scary, especially for beginners. However, it's not scary at all. We're gonna be using a very small amount. So you want to grab a very, very small brush and you're only gonna be going around the edges of everything that you've applied. And we love this E10 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. It's the perfect brush for your fade shades. So picking up a little bit of this product, we're just going around the edges, right on the edge of that bronzer that we've already applied. What this is gonna do is going to create the illusion that we have layered multiple shadows together. This is going to add that kind of pro fake finish that you see with a lot of really intense eye makeup looks. However, we totally cheated because we didn't need to actually apply loads of layers. We didn't need to cut the crease. We just used a very small amount afterwards. So here we have the before and after, and obviously it's not a massive difference, but it does add a little bit more of a pro finish. Now, so many of you loved the tip from the last video of using setting spray over a closed eye to intensify our shadows. And I'm gonna bring it one step further and before it has time to dry, I'm going to apply a little bit of shimmer just on that inner corner. Because our lids have been hydrated, it's going to help that shimmer show up so much more. Now what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna apply this green shade underneath the brows. Instead, just use your face highlight and just tap this underneath the highest point of the brow. I then finished off with lashes and mascara and I cleaned up around the eyes. And I use the new Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. This is a very full coverage concealer, great for applying after a smoky eye to get that clean, beautiful finish. It also comes with a brush inside the handle, which I only use when I'm on the go. If I'm at home, I'll use one of my other brushes, but it's always good to know that you have a clean brush in your makeup bag. 
just in case. Now that we have a clean base around the eyes, I'm then gonna take a flat brush and just apply a little bit of the mixture of the green and the bronze. If you want this look to be quite smoky, you can apply like a deep green or a black on the waterline. I decided to go for a nude shade on the waterline instead, just to open up the eyes. Now, I really like how this turned out, but let me know if you would have done the other combos. And that is it for today's Monday Makeup Lesson. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you've made it this far in the video, let's do an emoji because they're super fun to see. Let's do a swimming emoji inspired by that Makeup Geek pool eyeshadow, which I literally want to dive into. Honestly, if you've seen this in real life, it is so beautiful. The camera does not do it justice. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself be kind to others. You're doing the best that you can. And you know, people keep saying to keep moving forward, keep going, keep trying. And you know, sometimes it's just nice to just stop in one place for just a second and catch your breath. And sometimes I need to listen to my own advice. But I hope that you are all doing well. I hope that your week starts off really well. And I will see you guys in a video really soon.